guys, it's Tasman here from Tasman's Crochet Creations and oh my gosh, I have something to share with you guys. I am so excited, so excited, so excited. <laughs> attending my first ever craft markets and I am so super excited about it guys you have no idea I've been preparing and wanting to have a market for the longest time since last year I've been I've been trying to build up stock to sell at markets and with college and all the assignments and everything going on I've like barely had time to make keychains but I do have enough stock for a market so it's not exactly the amount of stock that I wanted when I initially started with my keychains so I wanted to have a keychain of each like each type of fruit each type of figurine well not really figurine but like each type of like Marvel Marvel thing like maybe like even like a Harry Potter snitch or like like things like that like Pokemon and like all of these things you know I wanted to make so many different keychains you know keychains for for animal lovers you know birds um doggy doggy and kitty paw keychains and like all of these things i wanted to meet everyone's um everyone's interests if it makes any sense um i wanted my target audience to be like everyone <laughs> i wanted there to be a keychain for every person basically that was my intention going into this like I literally have a whole Pinterest board full of of different crochet um keychain ideas that I want to do and that I still want to do and that I love to do um but anyway so I'm so excited let me show you the amount of stock I have so this big box is the amount of stock that I have and so far I've counted I have 79 keychains 79 keychains in this big box look at that 79 keychains in this big box but over time because i also take orders and things like that so over time um i didn't want to take out of this box this box i wanted to be specifically for my markets um i never wanted to touch this box but unfortunately with college and how stressful and the amount of work i had or the hectic workload um I did not have time to crochet so I took keychains out of this box and um, if it wasn't for me taking keychains out of this box I would have 105 keychains 105 keychains um, but yeah so ee, this is all of the keychains that I've made so far but actually actually let me tell you this so the actual reason why I started or well, not started the reason why I actually wanted to do this market and the reason why I've been holding it off for so long is because one first thing first first thing <laughs> is that I in my in my books in my head I did not have the amount of stock that I wanted okay but now the actual reason why I'm doing this market I'm so excited is because um, I have crocheted Christmas boxes and I'm selling Christmas boxes um, so this is what they look like they come in like a nice Christmas box um, so this is how they come so you get five different ornaments I'm gonna try and show this to you without messing this up or dropping it or anything so you get ah see the Christmas trees there we go there we go I just dropped it Oh, no, my, my snowman is a little underneath under my desk. I'll grab him just now. So yeah, I crocheted five different ornaments. Um, a stocking, a wreath, a Santa hat, a, a Christmas tree and a snowman, which my snowman is all the way down there. Let me actually edit this together. Give me a minute. <laughs> okay, there we go. Come here. Come here. Okay, so this is a snowman. This is a little guy. Isn't he so cute? What do you think of his little scarf? Isn't he cute? So that's a snowman. This is the Christmas tree. 
that's the Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Sorry. Uh, okay, and then this is the Christmas wreath. Okay, that's the wreath. Isn't it beautiful? Um, and then this is like my favorite. A stocking. Look at how beautiful it is. I just love the colors. And then the last one is a little Santa hat. Isn't that cute? A little Santa hat. So this is the reason why I joined the market. So I made five of these Christmas boxes and I advertised I uh, advertised it on my socials, but unfortunately, no one has placed an order yet, or no one has bought any of them, and I, I'm selling five of these, five of these. So I made five boxes with five different ornaments, the same as these. Um, everything is all the same throughout. Um, but yeah, so I didn't get the feedback I wanted on my socials, so I thought the best place to do it is at a market. So I browsed around my area for markets and I came across um, a Queensborough market, a Christmas market in Queensborough on the 23rd of December at 3 o'clock. So it's a night market. I am so super excited. I'm so stoked. It's my first one. I've already booked my table um, long ago. Long ago. Um, well, not long ago, <laughs> maybe by like a beginning of a year, maybe even last year, I can't remember exactly when. Um, but I had already bought a table and camping chairs. Um, I even bought fabric um, to make my own tablecloth, just to wrap my own tablecloth. So I've got a whole lot that I need to do from now until the 23rd. And the day that I'm recording this is the 15th. Yes, 15th. It's the 15th. Um... <laughs> So yeah, I, I got so much that I need to do. I'm also going to be making more keychains for my, for my box. Um, so yeah, I figure that since I am going to be selling these boxes, I need to take my keychains to sell as well since I've already got this here. So I might as well do something with it and sell it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so yeah, what else? So I do have um, some displays. So the first display that I got like quite a while ago, um, let me just grab it here. So the first display that I got is this tree display. Um, so you just snap it on there and then this is what it looks like. So it could rest some keychains on the base here and then put some keychains on the actual tree. So this is, I don't even know where I got this from, I think I got this from Dayuko. Um, I don't know where I got this from, but yeah, can't remember. I got it a while ago. Ugh. Um, and then today I bought these, this clear acrylic um, containers. Uh, so this was 40 Rand or 39.99 from Mr. Price Home, which is not bad. So I got three of these to put my keychains in. Um, and then my boyfriend, which I didn't think he was actually going to buy it for me. Um, I literally just thought he would like send me a picture and be, and was like, hey, this is at Value Co. That's for this much kind of thing. But he actually bought me, I cannot believe it, he actually bought me two, um, two like display racks. Um, so basically it's like a rack that has like little like storage, two storage baskets. And I think they can pivot, they can like move. Um, so he got me two of those. I haven't seen them yet. He bought it and it's chilling at his place. <laughs> He's coming to my, to my house, not this weekend, the next weekend. The day, the weekend of the market. I'm so excited, guys. And uh, yeah, I'll be going with my boyfriend. He's going to be helping me out at my market. Um, yeah, because my mom and my brother and his girlfriend are going up, to, are going down to Cape Town. So that's fun. Um, so yeah, on the day that they're leaving to go down to Cape Town, I'll be having my market. I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, yo, that was, that was a lot. I'm not gonna lie. That was a lot. That was a lot. Okay. So, the things that I need to do still. So, um, okay, I got that. I got, so I need to, um, get my brother's card machine from downstairs. I need to charge it. Um, I need to get little white stickers and um, little rectangular stickers 
to put on my keychains to pass them. So I'm going to wrap the sticker around the actual loop of the keychain and then write the pass on it. Um, and then what else do I need to do? I need to crochet a stock. I need to get more safety hours. <laughs> I need to get more safety hours because I'm like running out of safety hours. And I need the safety hours to do some of my keychains. So yeah, the safety hours that I have are just are literally not, not enough. Literally not enough. These are, sorry, these are the only safety hours I have left in this container. And then these are the safety hours I have left in these, these containers. But, I am like, I only have like what, four, five, I have like five like stud safety hours. And all of these other things are flat safety hours. They're flat. And those are all like noses at the top. So I desperately need to get more safety hours. Really, I do. So anyway, that's on and that's also on my list of things to do. Yeah. <laughs> I got so much stuff. And I literally only have like a week. A week. Um so in this coming week, I need to finish up my keychains and I also need to sew up my tablecloth. So let me show you my fabric that I have. Yeah. So this is the fabric that I got. So I got this like nice because I love sunflowers. So I got this like nice pink um fabric with sunflowers on it. And then I got this like tablecloth fabric. I'm actually not quite sure what this fabric is called. But it's like this nice like kind of like thick textured kind of fabric. Um so what I'm gonna do is um this pink sunflower is going to go in the center of this um of this pink like tablecloth so this is going to be like a center like table runner per se but i'm going to stitch it to to this um so yeah i am pretty pretty excited and then at some stage i'm not sure when this is going to happen but i do want to put my name on my tablecloth my business name um maybe heat press it with pink vinyl or i'm not afraid it's gonna be too much so probably heat press with vinyl so anything i can think of so yeah that's that <laughs> um okay so i think enough jabbering i think i've finished saying everything that i need to so now that so now what I need to do now is I need to edit my bandana tutorial, which is for this beautiful, beautiful bandana on my head. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> so I did this. This is my Barbie inspired um, bandana and bralette. So this is the bralette. It's actually got some nice, like, um, what's it called? ribbon at the back crisscross ribbon not crisscross ribbon what's it called it's like a corset corset tie up at the back so yeah i've got a tutorial for this um i'm going to be editing the tutorial for my bandana now um so yeah this is going to be a nice uh, market vlog <laughs> my first ever market vlog which i'm so excited about um so yeah I'm going to show you, well not show you, I'm going to take you with me to edit my bandana tutorial and while I'm doing that I'm going to crochet my keychains that I need to stock up for. Um, so I actually have, I've actually written it down, I've actually written um, my keychains down that I need to do. So I need to do one sunflower keychain. I need to do three realistic sunflower keychains. So I call them like my two-tone sunflowers. So they actually look like a proper, um, like real sunflower. Like you know how um, sunflowers have like a, um, a light brown center then a dark brown center around the outside. Um, so that's basically what I will be doing. And um, this is, um, it is a tutorial on my YouTube channel as well. Basically like all of these keychains are, um, let me show you. So this is my realistic sunflower keychains. As you can see, it's like two-tone. 
Okay, so you do three of those and you do one pineapple, one rainbow, four green worry pets. So worry pets, my worry pets looks like this. Easy nicky. So yeah, I need to do four green like this, three blue ones, four orange, and then one frog keychain, two Minecraft bees, one red heart, and four variegated worry pets. So, my variegated worry pets, where is this one? There it is. My variegated worry pet looks like this. Isn't it cute? So, this yarn, um, my mom actually got this for me when she came back from the UK last year. Um, it's this very nice, beautiful variegated yarn. This is actually what it looks like in the cake. Isn't that beautiful? So yeah, anyway, so that's, those are the keychains that I need to do to stock up, so I'm going to start now. <laughs> okay, enough jabbering, let's go on with the editing. I think it was on I think it was on a Thursday night um <clears throat> Thursday or Friday night no, I think it was Friday night um I started crocheting the three keychains that I needed to and um I also started editing my Barbie inspired bandana I haven't finished that yet I haven't finished the tutorial or editing the, tu the tutorial yet um the reason why I actually stopped like recording um for that night as well um was because um my when i plugged i don't know why it does this but when i plugged my laptop into charge um it literally just kind of like just kind of like just started doing weird shit like it just yeah <laughs> it just um it was like lagging it was like really slow then like open shot was like lagging or the software the editing software that i was using was like lagging i was like jittering i was like you know doing weird stuff so i'm like okay this is not gonna happen tonight so yeah i saved my work and i just closed it down for tonight and then even after that i tried to like watch youtube and everything while i'm crocheting these keychains and yeah even even then my laptop was so slow i have no idea why so i turned my laptop off and i just left it for the night um but um over the course of the weekend 
Um, I didn't really do much crocheting um, because I went to a party on Saturday night and then I actually ended up staying at my boyfriend's house um, for Saturday night and uh, Sunday night and yeah I'm back home now um, so yeah the weekend that just passed um, I managed to do three keychains um, so this was this was the keychain that I finished I think on I think maybe on Friday I finished this one on Friday and I actually added my my price tag on there so this is 65 rand for this for these realistic sunflower ones it is 65 rand um just because it's like the two-tone sunflower and it's more yarn than my normal one so yeah over the course of the weekend um my boyfriend was actually cutting the grass on <laughs> cutting his grass on uh sun sunday yeah on sunday and on saturday um on saturday i managed to crochet another one of these flowers and then on sunday while he was Cutting the, gra cutting the grass and mowing his lawn and everything like that. Um, I crocheted another sunflower and I also started a pineapple keychain. Um, which it's on my bed actually. <laughs> I'm not going to go grab it right now. Um, but yeah, I started my pineapple keychain. I only need to make one of those. Um, so yeah, I still have a lot of catching up to do. Um, I still need to do the Minecraft bees, two Minecraft bees. And then I need to do all of my worry pets. Um... And I need to do a frog keychain and like I think a few mini bees as well. Um, so yeah, there's quite a few that I need to do. Um, but yeah, that's what my keychains are going to look like with the price tag on. I'm so excited, guys, honestly. And then on Saturday, yes, Saturday, I managed to get these stickers. That these are what I'm using for my label. So it's actually just um, a rectangular um what do you call it a rectangular sticker a white rectangular sticker i can even open this again yeah it is this side yeah here we go <laughs> um yeah so it's just like a thing of rectangular stickers um so this is literally all that it is so what I do is I just take like the one sticker, so just take a sticker and then try not to mess this up and then I just take um, the ring of the key ring and then I'll just like kind of like wrap it over and then like I fold it in half. It's a little bit tricky, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, you get the gist of it. There we go, that's close enough. That's good enough. Okay, yeah. And then you will just basically just wrap the price on there after you've stuck it down to the keychain. Um, so yeah, that's that's the way I'm going to press it. I was originally going to get like a hole punch, like a bigger hole punch than what I have. Um, and then like a singular little single hole punch thing. And then tie the tags on a yarn or something. But yeah, that was just going to break off. And then I went to Mr. Prowse home. I think I did actually show you these. Yes, I think I showed you these. These, yeah, I remember talking about them. Yeah, so I'm not going to go into depth with that. Um, and then for my boyfriend, which I'm so stoked about, he bought these baskets from Mr. Price Home, um, which is so cool because I've actually had my eye on these for a while. No, it wasn't actually from Mr. Price Home, it was from Value Co. Um, so the, the one that I initially wanted was like a three-tier, like small basket thing. I think the baskets were smaller than this. But... Um, when I told him that that um, that I need more displays, he actually got me two of these. So there's another one sitting in the box that's out of frame. But yeah, there's one on my bed still in the box. Um, 
so yeah um i was quite stoked i honestly didn't think he'd actually buy me stuff i thought he'd be like oh here's this at baby cry and i thought he would kind of like just hint like where this stuff is and i had to go buy it myself um so yeah i was quite stoked that he actually bought two of these for me so yeah i'm quite happy quite chuffed so i may only use one i'm not sure i'll see how it goes and then my brother i'd ask my brother to laser cut and design um another little keychain display holder for me my bad i forgot that this thing is not attached to the back <laughs> My bad. Um, so yeah, um, he engraved my business name at the top. Um, to you, it looks reversed um, because yeah, I'm recording from my reverse camera. Um, but yeah, it's actually the right way around. <laughs> so yeah, it's got Tasman's Crash Occasions on there with a with my crochet hook on there. Um, so yeah, my brother designed this so that it is 100% collapsible. So I can um, put this in a box or a container and like transport it around. So this is what the back looks like. Um, so I can completely take this board out from the back. Um, so yeah, this whole thing is collapsible. So all of these hooks at the back are, hold, are held on with like these like keys, I would say keys. And then same with this thing. Yeah, so on the sides it's held together with these like little keys. So yeah, my brother designed this for me and he laser cut it and engraved it, um, which I am pretty stoked and happy about. And then these are the keychains. Um, so I actually had keychains that I was using. So I would take keychains from my box and I would put it on my school bag, my pencil case. It was like a form of advertising. Sadly, unfortunately, it didn't quite work. But anyway, so my key these keychains got quite dirty. So I actually washed them. I think it was on Thursday. It was on Thursday night, I put them in a container with hand washing soap powder and I washed them and now they're all nice and clean. So I'm so stoked about like look at them, they're so beautiful and clean. You, you would never ever say that I washed them or that they were even dirty. Like look at them, all five of these were like filthy, filthy, filthy. And um, two of them, I think it was these two, um, they had lost keychains, so the little uh, chain at the top. Um, the ghost didn't have a keychain at all. It was just the jump ring that was still attached. And then the sunflower, for some reason, this loop thingy came off or broke off or something. Um, so yeah, I just put another loop on that one. Um, so yeah, I am pretty stoked. I'm pretty happy, guys. And also, also another thing I had to share with you guys. So when I was with my boyfriend on sunday now on sunday we went shopping for some gum boots and stuff because obviously it was like kind of the grass and there was mud and everything anyway um so we went into checkers just to see if maybe perhaps they might have gum boots there we were just taking a chance um and then and then and then um and then i was like well this is a christmas market so we have to um we have to have christmas ornaments you know because it's a Christmas night market. There has to be some lights. There has to be Christmassy things. So anyway, so we were looking around checkers for some things. And um, we came across this like tabletop like kind of Christmas tree. But it was quite big for a tabletop Christmas tree. Um, and it was like quite pricey. So like, oh no, like mm, if they had like something smaller, that would be nice. And then Pierre, Pierre's my boyfriend, okay. So Pierre, he... Um, he like picked out this this was only like 50 bucks this was only like 50 rand for this um so it is so cute i've already opened it um so it's just like little tree and then it turns on and, uh, look at how gorgeous that is isn't that just beautiful so i got this from checkers um I'm, this was like 50 bucks this was like so beautiful um so yeah i'm gonna use that um, so yeah, Pia came with like all of the brass ideas on Sunday, which was amazing. And then I also got these, so Pia actually also picked this out as well, he, was, he actually also saw it because we were like looking at like Christmas lights, because since it was going to be a night market, you know. Um, so he picked these out, so they are like, um, like pegs that light up and you can attach pictures. But what I'm going to use them for is I'm going to attach my keychain. So I'm going to hang this across the front of my table. And um, 
and I'm gonna attach them with some of my keychains to those, which I'm so stoked about. I think it's gonna look so amazing. Um, so yeah, I initially booked for like inside the the civic hall or the civic center. Um, um, but now I'm thinking like since I have all of this, um, all of this stuff, the the Christmas tree that lights up and those uh, pigs, um, it it actually makes me want to actually be outside in the dark. <laughs> So I can show everything off. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'll decide on the day. Um, you know, after I see the venue and the options and things like that. Um, so yeah, and then we went to the crazy store. And then I said to Pia, um, he has to wear this. He has to wear this. It's a must. So yeah, he's going to wear this cute little um, little uh, Santa tile, which I think is adorable, so I'm like, he has to wear it. If he, if he, if he's gonna help me at the market, he has to wear this. There's no backing out. So yeah, he's wearing that. And then I'm gonna wear this cute little reindeer, um, headband, which I'm happy about as well. I'm excited for that. And then, um, he saw this also at the crazy store. Um, so, how cute is this? It's a little Santa basket. Isn't it adorable? Oh, it's so cute. Um, I can't even remember how much I paid for these things. I really honestly do not know. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking of maybe putting, like, some sweets or some chocolates in here for the kids or the children. Um, because I think I have, like, more than enough displays now. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to put this on my table with like chocolates and things and then like, I don't know, for kids who I think who have been good or or anything like that or, I don't know, like support my my my, um, my table or come and buy from me, then I'll give them like a chocolate or a sweet or something. And then I also bought five of these, um, of these uh, Christmas cards from the crazy store as well because I have five Christmas boxes and yeah I wanted to get Christmas cards so I got these they're really cute it's like Santa Claus and the reindeer like kind of sneaking out from behind um uh from behind uh, a Christmas tree which I think is adorable so I got five of those um so yeah I'm like really super excited about this guys I don't know what the traffic flow is going to be like I don't know how many people usually go um, I, I don't know, I really don't know, like, what to expect, per se. Um, but yeah, I'm, like, so super excited. I, like, literally can't wait. Ah, I cannot believe it's, like, a week, like, not not even a week, it's less than a week from now. Um, because today's Monday that I'm recording this on now. And, um, Christmas is on, on the 23rd, and today's the 18th. Yeah, I think today's the 18th. Um, so yeah, I'm like really, really super stoked. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, that's the update for now. I'm going to continue crocheting some of my keychains and editing my, my tutorial. And then yeah, I'll come back and do an update on, um, more keychains that I've completed. <laughs> about they look so cute i love how small they are they look so cute um so yeah i just finished the christmas cards and i put them in the boxes as you saw um so yeah now i'm gonna officially get started with crocheting keychains um i literally only got home at like 10 o'clock this morning and then i don't know i just like kind of chilled into the day um 
go just relaxed for a little bit um so yeah now i'm gonna get started on my keychains so yeah i'm gonna carry on with my pineapple keychain that i started i thought i think that's gonna be all of yarn yeah so i just started my pineapple keychain this is my pattern it's on my youtube channel um so yeah i started creating little pineapples so i have one of these to do and um yeah i'm gonna try and get as much keychains to done today um so while i'm working with the colors that i have i'm gonna maybe do the frog my minecraft bees and my mini bees i think i have some mini bees that i need to do i need to double check my book <laughs> um but yeah all, all of the colors that i have on my bed i'm gonna try and do all of those keychains and um you know i actually forgot to mention i went to bargain basket on no, on saturday yeah the same day that i went to the pavilion to get some of my displays um i went to bargain basket to search for safety hours and i couldn't find like boxes of safety hours anywhere like what i what i normally use so i normally um so i think i bought these ones off wish but as you can see they're like finished and then I bought these, I don't know if I bought these off take a lot or also unwished. I honestly can't remember where I got these from. But these have like flat flat bear noses, these have flat eyes, and also had like the, the stud eyes as well. Um but yeah, I only have um uh like two sets of safety eyes here and I have like one big black safety eye, like one safety eye. And I think I had used the other one to make my frog keychains. So I used to take pliers and I used to cut backs off and then glue them onto the eyes. Because um, the frog keychains, um, uh, the frog keychains, it does not have the stud coming through the back. So it's literally just, just like a flat safety eye. So what I used to do. When I first started with these is I used to take I used to as I said take pliers and cut the backs off of the the safety eyes. So I think that's why I have like one big black safety eye left. Um so yeah, but anyway. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna have to use because I don't I don't have time now. Um only I only found this big container on take a lot for like 400 and something rand it was like too much to pay for at that given time and i still have so many of these flat safety hours so i might as well use them um but yeah everywhere else that i looked i could not find like just a normal box of safety hours like this and when i went to bars and baskets they only had like big black safety hours they didn't have any like small ones or anything like that and i need the really really tiny ones for my mini bees um but yeah i couldn't find anything so I'm just going to have to make do with what I've got. So I'm just going to have to use all of the flat safety aisles from here. And just hot glue them on with a hot glue gun. It's not something I really want to do. I do not want to do this. But it's my last resort. I just hope. to Honest to God's truth. I just hope they don't come off. Because it's not going to look very nice. But yeah. It's the last resort that I have. Um, this market was the last minute thing. And it will probably be my last my first and last mask market in a very long time because i'm going back to college next year for my second year and then my third year the following year and yeah at, at that i will be able to do another market within these two years um but yeah so i'm gonna make do with these and just hot glue them on the hot glue gun it's just one of those things so i'm really i can do um so yeah, I'm going to get started with my keychains and I'm going to carry on with the, uh, with the pineapple and then start moving on to the other keychains. So yeah, let's get on it. Hey guys, so I am back with another update. So it's actually been like the whole day. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I don't know what happened to me today. I was just like, I don't know, not with it, I guess. I don't know. It took me the whole afternoon because I started at about like I think 12, 1 o'clock maybe. I can't remember exactly what the time was but I know it was like about after lunch, lunchtime after lunch when I started. Um, and I've only done four keychains this entire day and it's now after 12. Um,
yeah, it's about half past twelve now. Um, so yeah, and I've only done four key things from the time I spoke to you guys earlier, which is I think it was about twelve o'clock ish, as I said before. Um, so yeah. Um, I also finished editing my bandana tutorial. Um, I thought I'd do that while I was finishing up my keychains. Um, well, finishing up the ones that I was doing today. Um, and then, yeah, I decided to move some of the videos that I recorded today or for this vlog onto my hard drive. And then... Yeah, I got a notification to say that my hard drive is full. So that's fun. I'm gonna have to spend more money to get a to buy another hard drive. So that's fun. I've spent like so much money this past month because of like Christmas and these like Christmas boxes and all of these things. So yeah, I just hope that um, I make some of this money back with my market really hope it goes well um yeah I kind of really in a way don't really know what to expect I really hope my keychains will sell because I know they're cute and they're like one of a kind they're very unique um normally with crochet you see like hats beanies gloves bags um like all of those things you don't really see keychains um, so yeah, I thought it was quite unique. Um, so yeah, that's kind of why I went into keychains. Um, and also partly because they're like so quick to work up. Um, but yeah, so back to my hard drive, and I'll, you know, I just check the time. Now on my laptop, because I was kind of like on sleep, not really on sleep, but like, you know how you don't use the laptop, the screen kind of goes off. Um, so yeah, I moved my mouse to find that it's on only 97.7, 7, 97.77% done. Um, and it says it's finished, even though it's not 100%, which means I've run out of, 100% run out of space now on my hard drive, which is shit. Very shit. Which means, um... I won't be able to upload this video until I have, well, upload my bandana tutorial until I've bought a new hard drive, which I'm not sure when I'm going to do that. Hopefully this week, this coming week, or the following week, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's another thing that I have to worry about now. Just getting another hard drive. And this is my first hard drive. And I, I knew going into this that my videos and my tutorials are going to take up a lot of space. I think this was a one terabyte hard drive. And yeah, um, I think in about, I think it was two, two years. Um, crochet tutorials. No, for the past three years I've done tutorials. But I only started at the end of 2021. Um, so yeah, for like two and a quarter years, I guess, <laughs> I've built up um, a lot of space. So yeah, I'm a little bit bummed that I didn't have enough space on my hard drive to finish exporting my Bobby inspired bandana. Um, yeah, maybe I can go through my, some of my, my folders and see the stuff that I did, that I did and didn't use. Um, so yeah, I don't know, see if I can create some space somewhere. Um, but yeah, so it's a bit of a bummer. Anyway, back to the keychains and what I've made today. So, I've got them all here in my little container here. So, 
Um, obviously, the sunflower keychains is what I did over the weekend, so I just put them in here because also what I do with my keychains is I take a lighter and I quickly like burn the keychain or the the fibers of the keychain so that it doesn't pull. Um, so all of the keychains that I've done, I've finished them off and I've burned them with the lighter so that I know that these ones are sorted. I'm going to plan on doing that for all of my keychains. I'm going to go through a lot of uh, butane uh, gas or whatever you call it, lighter fuel, whatever you call it. Um, I did actually buy about, a, I think, two weeks ago. I actually bought a whole can of like butane, butane refillable gas thing for the lighters um so yeah so um you saw me start doing a pineapple i finished the pineapple and then i moved on oops yeah i then moved on to a froggy and then i moved on to my worry pets and i did Two green worry pets. Come on, little guy, turn around. Come on, little thing. Be nice to me. There we go. Um, so yeah, I crocheted two green worry pets. I still need to crochet two more of the green. Um, so yeah, I still need to do two more of these. And I still have, the last time I checked I had 19, so now I have, I think, um, 15 or something more to go, 17 or something, can't remember how many I need to do now, um, so yeah, that's all quite a bit to do, I'm hoping that by Wednesday, all of my keychains are finished. All of my keychain stock is finished. And then I can focus on. Um, so what I would like to do. Is I would like to move on. To like burning the rest of these. Well, not burning but. Um, excuse me but. Um, taking a lighter to the rest of these keychains. Um, and then I'm going to. After I've like put a lighter to all of them. Then I'm going to start pricing them. I'm going to put all of the price tags on there. Um, and then I'm hoping that Thursday I can sew up my tablecloth. And then yeah, on Friday I want to be done for. I do not want any more things to do besides putting everything together for the market. Maybe setting up my table at home. Checking up like, what my display is going to be like. How I'm going to do it. Where I'm going to put stuff. Whatever that whole thing and then maybe packing my car in advance I don't know well actually I can't really pack my car in advance because I need to drop my mom and my brother and his girlfriend off at um the airport but anyway um but yeah I can put all of the stuff one side and make sure I have everything that I need together um so yeah that's the bit of the updates um, but yeah, so I still have quite a bit to do. Um, so yeah, tomorrow morning I'm going to try and finish these last two green worry pets. And then I want to maybe do, um, the one rainbow keychain and the one heart keychain. And then from there I'll see what else I can do, um, before the end of the day. Um, I want to try and get quite a lot done. Um, maybe I can do my Minecraft bees. I think I have two or three more Minecraft bees I need to do. Um, so, yeah, I have a lot I need to do. But anyways, that is update for tonight. It is quite late. It's now 10 to 1. <laughs> it's quite late. So, um, I'm going to see where this thing had cut off now and see if I can make space somewhere else on my hard drive to at least complete this tutorial, tutorial and at least have this go out, this bandana go out. Um, 
yeah by the time you guys are watching this this thing will already be up i'm sure um so yeah i'm gonna have to get a new hard drive before i edit this video that i'm making here for you guys which is this market vlog um but yeah anyways that's it for tonight and yeah i'll update you tomorrow morning or tomorrow after i've finished more keychains i guess <laughs> so yeah cheers for now guys hey guys so i'm back with another update um so yeah i was gonna record um more of my vlog today or like me making up the keychains but i'm running out of space on my phone as well so I need to go through my phone and delete some stuff. Um, but yeah, so that was the reason why that I didn't like record the process of me doing things. So I'm just gonna come here quickly and do like a quick update on the keychains that I did today. So um, I started at one o'clock making my keychains the same as yesterday. Um, but yeah, um, I spent the morning um, editing my last bit of my note. Yeah. So actually last night, um, I had managed to clear up some space on my hard drive. So um, I now have just enough space to... Well, I had enough space <laughs> after I cleared it out to um, export my, my Barbie inspired bandana tutorial. Um... So yeah, that is now out on my YouTube channel. So yeah, this morning I spent some time uh, publishing it on my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, then I wrapped presents. Because <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas in what, a few days. Um, I think the day that I'm recording this, it is... Let me just check what the day is here. Okay, so it was the 19th of December, but now it's like past midnight, so the 20th. Um, but yeah, so it's the 19th of December, so there's like five more days left um, until Christmas now. Um, well, we're six days now, it's actually five, because yeah, now it's the 20th, because now it's past midnight. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I started with my keychains at one o'clock, and I started off crocheting two of my... Uh, two of my green worry pets so now all of my green worry pets are finished so now I have four in total um so from two from yesterday two from yesterday and two from this morning and then um yeah then I was gonna carry on crocheting my blue worry pets um but the blue that I was normally using for my worry pets um I thought I'd have enough to finish one and I did not. I ran very short of the blue yarn, unfortunately. So I spent all that time crocheting this up until like, I think it was the first round of the decreases or something. And yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't work any further. And then like I tried to, whatever was left, I tried to like decrease the bottom closed, like all the way around. But yeah, that didn't end up working. It like cinched like the whole bottom and obviously. But anyway, I ran out of yarn anyway. So I couldn't even like try and like decrease it more to close the hole. Um, but yeah, so I got fed up with this and I was a kind of annoyed. So I started um, working on my four uh, orange ones. Um, so yeah, I managed to complete all four of my orange ones. Um, so yeah, now all I need to do is just obviously put them all in the box. But um, as I said before, I am keeping all of the the ones that I've um, what would you call it? All of the ones that I've burned with the lighter one side, so that I know that those are done, and then. Yeah, then I need to attend to all of these at some stage. And then at, I think it was like 10, half past 10 or something. I think it was about 10. Um, I started with these two. So these are my variegated um, worry pets. 
So I love the this yarn. Um, this yarn. My mom actually got this yarn uh, for me when she went to England last year for a month to visit her sister or my aunt. So yeah, it came in like a really huge cake, but obviously I've used quite a bit of it. So this is what it looks like. Um, so yeah, it was this really nice wool blend yarn. I can't remember exactly what the um what the contents of the yarn is, but I know it had some wool in there. I don't know, I can't remember if it was hundred percent wool or a portion of it was wool. I honestly can't remember for the life of me. Um so yeah, I crocheted two more of these. I still have to do two more of these to complete the set. Um obviously there's already one in my, one in my box. Um so yeah, I really like this because this is like yarn fueling, but this is not planned at all. Um, when I first did like the one a while back when I first started it, I was like, oh, this is so cool. It's like literally like yarn fueling. So you know how like on the, on like the like weather apps and stuff like that, like you can see, like you, like you know how you have it like radar and like it goes like it shows you like the storm and all of that like it shows like the red and the green and the blue and I don't know like whatever um so this is actually kind of like what it reminds me of in a sense um but yeah this is actually quite cute and yeah because I kind of forgot that this was actually wool when I burned it or, or put the lighter to it um it actually got like kind of like fuzzy it didn't um like, I don't know what you would call it. Like, it didn't stop pulling, if it makes any sense. The acrylic ones have stopped pulling because it's plastic. So, kind of, like, the acrylic and the yarn just kind of, like, hard, like hardened. Not really, like, hardened, hardened, but if you get what I mean. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I crocheted two of these. Um, so, yeah. I still have to do two more of these tomorrow. I have to do three more blue ones. So, I'm just going to use a different color different shade of blue um similar to this one that i started using so i need to do i need to do two variegated three blue ones um three blue ones then i need to do two minecraft bees then i need to do one red heart keychain and one rainbow keychain and yeah i think that's all of them if I remember correctly, there is 11 more keychains that I need to make in total. And, um, yeah. My mum wants me to go with her tomorrow. I'm not sure what exactly she needs to do tomorrow. Um, but I know she said that, yeah, tomorrow we can go get my plastic bags for, like, packaging all of my keychains and all my orders in. And I also need to get batteries for the lights and my lantern. Um, yeah, because I tested out my Christmas last, but I didn't have any spare batteries. So I had this lantern that, um, that, well, I thought that was broken. So, like, I took the batteries out of there because I knew I'm not going to use it again. Um, and then, yeah, then I'm like, no, I don't want to throw this lantern away. I want to try and fix it because then if, if, it, if it's working, then I can take this lantern with me to the night market. So yeah, I ended up fixing it, so yeah, now I need to get new batteries for the lantern, and um, I want to take uh, spare batteries for my lights, because obviously the batteries that I put into my lights, they're like second hand, you know, they're from this lantern, so I don't know how much battery life it has left in them, so just as a backup in case they die, I'm just going to take some spare batteries with me. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it. Um... Yeah, so tomorrow I need to work more on these things, I need to get these finished, then I need to sort out my packaging. And, um, yeah, I'm thinking of, um, I kind of, like, want to get, like, a little cash box. But, like, I'm not sure about it, like, I don't really want to, like, I want to spend money on a cash box, but at the same time I don't, because I'm going to have to withdraw, um, black like some cash to have in the boxes petty cash so people come in with a certain amount i can give them change uh but i really don't want to do that so i don't know what i should do really wanna but i don't want to um yeah it's, 
I feel like I'm just like spending so much money on this market and Christmas gifts and everything like that and as much as it's for my market and, and I'll always have it going forward right now I don't really want to spend that kind of money so I don't I don't know what to do I really don't um but sure I'll figure something out um so yeah I still need to do my tablecloth I still need to sort out my pricing and obviously the the lighting of everything of you know taking the lighter to everything and um yeah i've got a lot that i need to do and i still need to sort out my display and like put everything on the table see how everything looks so yeah and it's tuesday well now it's officially wednesday because now it's past midnight <laughs> um but yeah anyways that's it for today's update i'll update you again tomorrow i think maybe at the end of tomorrow like i'll do what i did now i'll just show you what i've crocheted in that day and um yeah what i did what i bought what i've been up to um so yeah that is it for now guys and um yeah chat in a bit <laughs> hey guys um i'm back for another update it is now all the time that i'm recording this it's technically thursday morning um but it's still for night time so it's technically wednesday <laughs> um yeah, so, um, yeah, today I went with my mum to the pavilion to, um, to get packaging for my keychains, um, yeah, then I tried to look for a hard drive, only came across one, and then I just, like, gave up with everything, <laughs> I was just like, I just want to go home, <laughs> um, it was just getting too much um but yeah i wanted to get a, a cash box as well um it was 400 rand for a small six inch cash box which is mad expensive just for a small little cash box um so i'm just gonna have to use some sort of old container or something i don't really want to do that but i mean it is my first market so but yeah, anyway, um, on with today's update. So today, funny enough, on my way, um, on my way to Pavilion, um, I was like, I'm not going to waste any time while I'm out when I could be crocheting as well. So on my way to Pav on the, on my way to the Pavilion, um, I crocheted one colourful worry pet. Um, I didn't glue the eyes on or anything yet because, um, obviously I couldn't use my hot glue gun in the car. So I just crocheted the whole thing, stuffed it, closed it up until I got home. Then I crocheted this one and then when it came time to putting the safety eyes on this one, I put on this one as well. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, um, I finished these two. So now that's all of my four variegated worry pets complete. So that's all four of them complete now. Yay. Um, and then I went on to crocheting. Um, to crocheting three of my blue worry pets. Um, yeah, so I made three of these today. And then, um, the last two things that I made was, um, my two Minecraft bees. So this is what they look like, and of course there is a tutorial on my YouTube channel for these. Um, so yeah, I managed to crochet two of these. I have two more keychains left. I have a red heart keychain and a rainbow keychain um i really wanted to get them done tonight um as well but it's getting late by the time i finished all seven of these um it was already like half past 11 and i am pretty tired and i don't really want to go to bed like after two o'clock or anything like that so i'm gonna leave these keychains for tonight and yeah 
I'm going to come back tomorrow morning and I'm going to finish the last two keychains, the heart and the rainbow. I'm going to do those last two. And then I need to start like putting a light out to the rest of these, to the other 79 keychains that I need to do. Well, not need to do, but the other 79 keychains that I've already made that I had stock of like a long time ago. I need to go take a lighter to it and um, burn it so that it does not pull and so that it looks nice as well. So I have to do all of that and then I have to go in and add my labels to all of them. Which it's going to take probably like the whole day to do. Um, but anyway, and then I still need to make my tablecloth. So I'm contemplating on doing my tablecloth before... I do my price tags and all of that stuff um because i don't really want to do my tablecloth like at the in the night because i feel like because i'll be like kind of tired then and i kind of feel like i'll like make mistakes which i don't want that to happen so i'm contemplating on doing my two keychains first and then doing the tablecloth afterwards and then after that, then coming back and finishing up the burning of the keychains and adding my price tags. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm so tired. I'm so burnt out. I've done seven keychains today. Yesterday I did eight keychains. And then I think the following day I only did like, I think four. I think it was those... I think it was the two green worry pets and then like two orange or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. But yeah, I'm so burnt out. And my hand is so sore. I actually have like a, what's it called? I think it's a callus. Callus? Callus? No. Um. <clears throat> I can't think of the word. I don't know if that is the correct word. But like, you know, like with friction, um, with constantly like rubbing something against something like on your hands or like on your body or something, mostly your hands, um, you get like a blister. Like firstly it forms like a hard like lump and then eventually it would form a blister. So I think it's called a callus. I'm pretty sure it's called a callus. A, cal a, a callus. So like literally we, I don't know if you can see it. But like over there, it's like quite red, and that is where my crochet hook um comes into contact with my hand. And like it is so red there, and it's got like a hard lump there now. Um, but yeah. Um, today I also super glued my ergonomic, my wooden ergonomic uh, crochet hook together. Um, cause uh. I don't like the one that I'm working with. It's like a normal straight aluminium or stainless steel. I think it's aluminium. Um, crochet hook, 2mm crochet hook. Um, and with like doing so many orders, well not order, orders, but doing so many keychains and like constantly using it. Um, it ends up like hurting my hands and my fingers as you saw with the callus on my hand. And also like my joints get sore and all of that obviously. Um, but yeah, the, the ones that I'm referring to are these. So I actually did a hook review on these. Um, so these are my Katek, um, uh, my Katek, um ergonomic crochet hooks. So I really love the wooden handle on these. And whenever I used to crochet with these, I never used to have issues or problems in using these at all like my hands wouldn't get sore um so yeah um i um a while ago um a long time ago not like a long time ago but a couple of months back maybe even like a year back i don't know exactly when it happened um but yeah the shaft came out of the the handle and ever since then it's never been the same i've tried to use like some 
I can't remember what stupid blue it was, but some sort of like, it was contact adhesive. I tried to use contact adhesive at least three or four times. And, um, yeah, it just it didn't work. And then, yeah, then with me constantly working with these keychains today and yesterday, um, I thought maybe I should try and super glue this back together. So, um, I super glued, um, I used like really strong super glue from um, like the China Mall. Um, I can't remember the brand of it, um, but it's like really strong super glue. So, I don't know if it's going to hold. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I'm just kind of waiting for the glue to 100% dry. Um, cause yeah, also the last time when I used the, one of the hooks with the contact adhesive, I didn't let it dry properly. I had let it dry for like a couple hours and then, um, I tried to crochet with it again and then it just came out, came apart again. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave it overnight. Um, but yeah, so that is that for this up Actually, no, I lied, it's not it for the update. Okay, um, my video is going to cut out soon because, uh, as I said before, I'm running, I'm running out of space on my hard drive. So anyway, um, I got this cute little Christmas tin that I'm putting my packaging stuff in. So um, I got I got Nancy bags, and it came in packs of ten. So there was like one pack of like this light pink, and then all the other ones are just like dark pink with polka dots. Um, so yeah, I'll be using these for my packaging. So yeah, I really, really hope that people will buy. I really, really do. Um, yeah, I think they would because my keychains are like one of a kind. You know, they're unique. They're not like ordinary, like crochet things like I've seen in the past. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, but yeah, so that's the update for today. Um, so yeah, I will update you again tomorrow. Um, after I've completed those two keychains and when I'm moving on to either my tablecloth or my, my price tags or, I don't know, burning the keychains, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's it for today, girls, and yeah, I'll update you in a sec. <laughs> hey guys, I am back for another update, which I am so happy about. Okay, so today, this morning, I managed to finish my last two keychains which i'm so stoked about so i finished the red heart keychain and the rainbow keychain um so yeah this is a tutorial on my youtube channel this is um someone else's tutorial um can't remember the um the person who did this it's uh someone um in spanish who did the tutorial for this but i absolutely love the way these came out okay so i finished burning these and everything so now I have a total of, let's count, that I did these past few days. So I'm just so glad that I have now finished crocheting all of the extra stock. So now I can focus on making my tablecloth and adding the price tags to my stuff i am so super excited you have no idea i am so super excited oh my gosh okay so i have done 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 keychains in the past couple of days it's a lot <laughs> 24 keychains in the past couple days that is a lot um i'm just so glad that they're all done now um so yeah now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start burning the rest of these now um yeah i'm going to start burning the rest of these keychains now which i am so so stoked about that i can finally kind of like get on with this okay so i'm just going to start so I'm probably going to have to refill this up again because this is like halfway. So I'm going to have to fill this up again. But let's just carry on. So I'm just going to lightly see. I can't even like hold a flame for very long. 
but yeah so i'm just gonna lightly just run a lighter over my keychain so that it doesn't fray about actually putting a light into these is like after I burn it like the safety eyes get all nice and shiny which is like what I love I don't know why but I actually really like that so like I don't know if you can tell but like these kind of look a lot more darker and these ones look, look a little bit lighter maybe it's just me I don't know so yeah I'm like so so super stoked um yeah I don't know if I mentioned that the other three worry pets I had to do like this um, I had to do it in a different shade because I didn't have enough um, enough of this light blue so yeah this it does kind of like look a little bit weird having two different shades but <laughs> what can I do I like ran out of yarn kind of didn't have a choice yeah th these are actually what the the two look like compared next to each other you can kind of see the difference there um so yeah <laughs> this is gonna be a long long process i think i'm gonna have to get my mother to help me <laughs> um i just have to instruct her carefully but yeah i think i need all the help that i can because i don't really want to spend a lot of time working on these things um, or burning them. I still need to cast them. So I think I'm going to ask my mom to help me with all of the, all of the stuff that I need to do. And obviously when I sew my tablecloth that I'll have to do on my own, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I'm like pretty stoked though. I think this one is just about done. My little baby, my little baby keychain. This is my evil eye keychain. There's also a tutorial for this up on my YouTube channel. As I say, quite a lot of these are actually my pattern or my uh, tutorial. Or do you have a tutorial for these? Like majority of these. And I also like to just like kind of like burn the ends of this. Oopsie. Just so that these ends also don't fray.
just a bit of an update on what I did yesterday. So as I'm sure you would have seen um, with the um, past few video clips. So I um, burned my keychains. So the last time I updated you I said that my lighter decided to like stop working um, and had to resort to candles. Um, so yeah, my mum had helped me um, uh, burn some of the keychains, um, or like burn the the pulling with the lighter, well not the lighter, with the, with the candles, um, while I was pricing up the keychains. So the keychains that she was finished with, I started adding price tags to them. Um, so that's what we did yesterday, and then after that I attempted to show up my tablecloth. <laughs> Um, I didn't do the best of jobs, that's like what I initially anticipated. Um, this material that I was working with was like a little bit um, hard to work with in a sense. Um, like, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Um, but yeah, so um, it was a little bit challenging. Um, so yeah, I first had um, sorted out my actual tablecloth. So I overlocked, I overlocked the whole tablecloth, and then I did a um, for a double, a uh, double, a double hem, double fold over hem. Um, and then like when I did the corners, um, so like you open like one layer up of the corner if it makes any sense because obviously it's like folded over twice so you unfold the one layer and then whatever your your seam allowance was or your hem the size of your hem the length of your hem mine was two centimeters that I folded over so I had to do double that so I did four centimeters and had to mark on the diagonal on either side like long ways going like that way I had to mark four centimeters and four centimeters and then draw a line across then I had to Put the the right sides together and then sew along that straight line that I marked and um, yeah it was a little bit tricky um, when trying to like pin the fabric together because like the fabric kind of moved and things like that um, and um, and then like when it came down to um, to sewing like one of the corners, the first corner like came out absolutely perfect, it was great, it sat perfectly and everything after I'd like trimmed the excess and everything and folded like it inside out basically, like it looked perfect. And then, um, and then when I did the other corner, um, when I had sewed it, it didn't sit right and then it looked like there was like more fabric coming from the one side so then like it kind of like overlapped it like this and then just sewn on top of it um and sewing around the or sewing the hem down and then yeah eventually I, I think I did that out of like two or three out of the corners um and yeah some of the corners are not like perfectly like at a 90 degree angle like this some of them are like this and I mean it's not the best job but I mean, I am hard on myself, but anyway, um, yeah, and then when I did my, like, little table run in the center, it's actually sewn to the tablecloth, so the whole thing is, like, one combined, like, tablecloth, um, it's not like a table run in the center, that makes any sense, like a loose table runner, um, so anyway, um, so I ended up, um, measuring out the size that I wanted, um, and then, I was supposed to add like two centimeter seam allowance or yeah one centimeter seam allowance all the way around which means an additional four centimeters I think if I was because I did an additional I actually did two centimeters around because I wanted to overlock it and then fold one to do a fold over him um but it should have actually been four centimeters because it was either side if it makes any sense not just one side I don't know if I'm making sense um so when I overlocked it and when I put it on the 
um, the tablecloth before I'd sewn it, um, I could see that it was like just gonna fit on the tablecloth. And if I had to try and do like one fold over the thing, it will come just short of the edge of the tablecloth. Um, so instead of doing the fold over hem, I just pinned the the table runner thing to the center of the tablecloth where I wanted it. So I actually folded my tablecloth and folded the the runner in half and ironed both so that I had like a center line to kind of like um um to kind of like center it I guess or from I don't know if I'm making sense. Um yeah and then I um and then I had pinned it down in place and then sewed it. And um, because I'm working with so much fabric in my sewing machine, I was like trying to like stretch it out like this and all of that. And then, um, and because I had so much, so much of that build up on the inside of my machine with my fabric, um, it didn't really sew nicely. Like if you look at the, at the if you had looked at the bottom clip, you can check by the, um, by the, the the line not the lining by the by the table runner thing. The fabric is kind of like puckering near there. Um, yeah, I don't know how the other way to do it. Um, but yeah, so now today I am going to set up my display. Um, and then I am going to take a picture of that so I know where everything should go. Um, yeah, and then I am going to record like a little short video on the number of stock that I have. And yeah, I'm also going to record just a normal video of that. Just me counting the stock, I guess. Um... Yeah, I'm taking stock take. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the update.
it is the morning of my market and um, I just dropped my family off in Cape Town well, not in Cape Town, what am I talking about? at the bus depot for them to go to Cape Town um, so yeah, I have all of my stuff packed I'm so super excited, like I don't know like, I don't know, I feel like excited but at the same time I feel like numb in a sense I don't know why um, yeah, so I don't know, maybe it's got to do with uh, not spending my birthday and Christmas with uh, my family. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, so everything is packed. I'm super excited. The time now that I'm recording this is 20 to 10 in the morning. So at about 1 o'clock we will leave. I need to go to a spa and get a cash back. Um, or like get some cash, pizza cash. Um, so people come and... Um, pay with cash I can give them money or lack of money I can give them change for their black notes or whatever um yeah and then I also need to get like sweets and chocolates to put in that Santa Christmas basket um so yeah so this is everything that I'm taking with me so I have my two camping chairs I have my table I have my tripod because obviously you know I have to like continue recording or editing um the vlog and everything i have my keychain display and then in this box is actually this has to it actually used to be our past dogs um uh, food box or container um this has been sitting in our house for months now sadly our dog wizard passed away about maybe two, almost two years ago now i think shortly after my dad passed um our dog passed as well um so yeah in this box i have my five christmas boxes um i have my container that i'm gonna have my pizza cash in this is just for now because um yeah i don't know when i'm gonna have another market again and then i have my card machine i have the santa thing in there i have my tree stand in there and then i have my christmas lights my tape dispenser and um, the tie and the antlers on there. Then um, I couldn't fit the, these things anywhere. So yeah, I have the two baskets there. And then in this box, I have all of my keychains. Then I have my book in case I take custom orders. Then I have my tin here that has my, my party packs, my business cards, my stickers, and uh, an, an additional lamp or lights just in case um, it gets dark really dark and I can't see anything um, I have my Zappo QR code I don't think I actually showed this to you guys um, but yeah I got a Zappo QR code which I'm super excited about my tablecloth is in there and then yeah the rest of my keychains so this is what the Zappo card looks like so it's been um, a line has been engraved or cut out there I don't know if you can see that nicely um, but yeah, so this will basically, um, this, <laughs> this will basically sit like that on the table. So yeah, that's my zapper code. Um, I haven't peeled the blue plastic off yet, so I'm going to do that when I get to my market. I don't really want this thing to get scratched yet. Um, so yeah, that is my zapper code. I'm super excited. So people can either pay by cash pay with the zapper or they can pay by the card machine so i'm super stoked so yeah this is everything that i'm taking to my market so yeah hey hey guys so just a bit of an update so we're on our way to the market now how crazy is that i am so bloody nervous honestly there's Pia, say hello to Pia. he's my man he's gonna help me today um so yeah we just on our way we stopped at the shop to get some chocolates and things like that to put in the little santa basket um and i got some cash back to put in the pizza cash and yeah we're on our way so yeah i'll update you when we're there hey guys just a bit of an update so i'm here at the premises and i'm ready to set up i have all of my stuff there it's just a matter of setting up so let's do it guys come on
Hey guys, so I'm back with the final updates on how my market went. So it has actually been a few days since my market. Um, so the day that I'm actually recording this part of the video is the 2nd of January, the new year. Um, I did not expect to take this long with the editing and recording and all of that stuff, but unfortunately life got in the way um you know it was christmas um it was my birthday and then christmas after the 23rd um and then yeah it's just been on the go um this whole week excuse me all this whole past week has just been on the go um so i didn't really have the time to sit down and give you an update on how my market actually went um but yeah i am in the process of editing the video i just need to do this last final shot and then hopefully um or well obviously by the time you guys are watching this video this will this whole thing will be on youtube already <laughs> uh but yeah it is tuesday night um yeah tuesday night the second of January 2024 so happy new year guys <laughs> uh a bit late when you start watching the video but anyway um yeah it is like half past eight in the night um but yeah anyway so let's jump right in oh what do you think of the little bee hat I finished it this morning I quite love how it turned out but unfortunately this hat is like a bit big so like I can literally like pull this whole thing over my head <laughs> over my face so it's a little bit big so i'm gonna take all of it out until um like the sixth row increase and then after i've done the sixth round and well i'm not gonna do the whole i'm not gonna undo the whole thing but i'm gonna undo all of it until i get to the sixth round of the increases and then i'm gonna start doing the one half double crochet in each, each stitch because I actually did eight half double crochet increase rounds. I mean, I think I maybe should have just stuck with six. But yeah, so it's like quite big. <laughs> Anywho, so yeah, I completely love it. Isn't it cute? Um, but yeah, anyway, so straight to how the market went. So the market actually went quite well. Um, so unfortunately, I did not sell any of my Christmas boxes like I planned. But... It went quite well um i was quite surprised with the amount of traffic flow that came through um the amount of people that came through i should say um at first it was very quiet it was like about between three and five maybe even three and six i guess um it was very quiet not many people coming in um and if the people did come in they would like walk past my stand you know they would like yeah just i kind of like walked past you know weren't quite interested no one really engaged in conversation um yeah i just didn't really i didn't get any sales and then um in the previous um image that you saw um my in-laws or my my boyfriend's parents came to support uh, my stand which i was so super excited about they told me that they, they would not be able to come to my market um, because they went to a wedding on the 23rd or the tw 20th or something like that. Not the 20th, the 22nd or something. They were going to a, a Zulu wedding, a traditional Zulu wedding. So yeah, they told me um, that they wouldn't be able to... Um, that they wouldn't be able to support my, my market they wouldn't be able to come and they said that they'll only be back on the day of my birthday or christmas something like that um so i was like okay whatever it's fine doesn't matter i mean they surprised me they literally surprised me and they like interacted with me not interacted all they my in-laws you know they came they spoke to me and everything and my father-in-law um uncle pia and yeah same name as my boyfriend <laughs> so i call him uncle pia um they go by pia senior and pia junior 
um but yeah so uncle pierre he he had actually bought two keychains from me which i'm so stoked about so in the picture you can actually see him holding up the keychain so he bought one ghost keychain and one frog keychain he, and he was actually my first sale um of the night um <clears throat> so yeah i was quite i was quite stoked i was so, like so, so so happy and so yeah i was so happy that that they came and showed support um it, it really took me by surprise i really did not expect them there um but yeah it was really nice the people that i was also surrounded by like the other stands around me they're also very nice they're also like interacting with my stand like asking me if i made all of it and a lot of people don't believe that young girls like me crochet and always say like oh you never see young girls nowadays crocheting and you know it's so nice seeing young girls crochet so a lot of people other vendors that were selling at the market were also like talking to me and yeah so it was quite nice um so yeah i would say about after six o'clock when the sun went down and was dark outside then quite a bit of traffic flow came through quite a lot of people came through and um yeah i actually had quite a lot of people interacting some people there were still some people that kind of like walked past and you know wasn't interested they like just turned a blind eye ah. you know there were some of those people but there were some actually people there were some people that actually did inter interact or engage with my market so they come by they say oh this is cute this is so nice oh did you make this yourself um you know the whole deal um and some people did take my card and things like that so it felt like um my time that i did spend with people wasn't wasted if that makes any sense even for those people who didn't purchase anything um so i felt really really good about that um so yeah now to get down to the actual numbers so yeah i was i was pretty stoked um i was very happy um so yeah the i sold three ghosts so the one ghost was from my father-in-law um i sold one purple worry pet and i sold four mini bees and i, and I only had one mini bee left one mini bee left <laughs> so crazy i tell you i sold one realistic sunflower then I sold three rainbow keychains and I sold one frog keychain, which is the one my, my father-in-law bought. And then I sold three ladybugs. Um, so yeah, um, I had quite a lot of, um, and like when I say the numbers, it does not sound a lot, but I made actually quite a decent amount of sales based on those keychains. So I think I sold, um, 10 keychains is 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15. I sold 15 keychains. Um, yeah, and I made... I made 790 Rand of our 15 keychains. Like, how cool is that? 790 Rand. And there were... I had three people or three sales that paid by card so that was so cool i used my brother's card machine it was so cool so i made 280 rand 290 rand uh i think it was 290 rand Yeah, so I think I made um, 280 Rand off of my card payments. So I, I had three people come and buy. The first purchase was for 100 Rand. And then there was like another two orders. So that was like 90 Rand, if I'm not mistaken. 
So it was like 90 Rand, one sale, then another 90 Rand. So it was like 190, yeah, 280, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, and then like 500 and something Rand was all cash payments. So yeah, the rest of it was all cash payments. Um, yeah, I, th I think it was like 510 Rand was all cash payments. Something like that. 500 and something Rand was cash payments. So how cool was that i was so stoked with how the night went i was so happy um yeah i, I honestly can't wait until i go back and have another market um i was actually gonna have another market on the 29th of december which would have been the third year that my dad had passed and um I was kind of like on the fence about it but I thought well if it's on the 29th I thought like it was kind of meant to be um but Pia he didn't really want to um he wasn't quite he didn't quite want to do that again um yeah there was just like so much going on in this past week um so yeah and then it turns out that God had a plan and uh, my boyfriend actually went for um um he actually went for a job interview on the 29th um i think it was the 29th um because i remember it was the same day that i wanted to do the market he went for a job interview and he immediately got the job so i'm so excited so happy for him he's gonna start working on the first of february or the second of february or beginning of feb he'll start working um he is um he has an automotive mechanic so i'm so super happy and super proud of him honestly I've been waiting three years for him to make this decision and I'm so glad he, he has um so yeah I'm, I'm super proud of him yeah and he's gonna get an apprenticeship he, I'm so stoked I'm so happy for him he's gonna get an apprenticeship so so yeah um that's why I didn't end up doing the market on the 29th so God God has a, had his ways you know he had, he had his ways of working things out and um yeah so i'm very stoked and very happy for him um but yeah next time um when i do have my next market i want to make sure that i have like marvel things um marvel keychains because excuse me because i also want a lot of men to be interested as well i don't just want the ladies and the women to be interested and i don't really want the men to buy keychains for their kids or for their daughters or you know like something like that you know i also want i want i want my keychains to meet everyone's target market or well everyone you know i want everyone to be able to be interested in one keychain or another so i'm actually really crocheted a pokeball um yeah i actually did crochet one pokeball already um, I still need to do another four. Um, but yeah, I managed to crochet a Pokeball. Yeah, I need my little Pokeball. So yeah, I'm going to do another four of these. But I want to do like other things like the Golden Snitch. I want to do Captain America's Sword. Um, I'm not sure what else to do yet, but... Like, those are the things that I've thought about. I want to do ba a baby Groot, because I think that's cute. I want to do baby Yoda. Um, yeah, I can't remember the other things that I wanted to do. Um, maybe, like, a little bat for Batman. Um, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. But, yeah, I have started I have started <laughs> thinking about um, things to do and things to make. And, um, yeah, I think this Pokeball came out absolutely amazing um i think it came out lovely um so yeah um so yeah i just need to make more of those um but yeah so that is my plan um so yeah that is basically it for this update i hope you guys really 
enjoyed watching my first ever market vlog i am so excited to like bring this to you guys you have like no idea this market was so much fun and i definitely would love to do it again um it just it just it just brought like so much happiness and connection on like a different level you know connecting with my customers on like a different level that like you normally wouldn't if people place orders via facebook or instagram or you know things like that um I actually got to physically meet people and interact with them and you know um so it was like pretty cool you know i i really enjoyed it i'm not gonna lie um but yeah, um, yeah, I can't believe it's the new year already. Um, it's crazy. Uh, tomorrow night, the 3rd of January, I'll be picking up my family from the airport. They are arriving in Durban at 20 past, uh, sorry, 22 9 in the night, so that's fun um so yeah there's a lot that's been happening um i'm still gonna celebrate my birthday when they come back from cape town um and we're still gonna we still have to do christmas and all of that stuff as well so yeah i don't know I don't know how this is going to turn out. I really don't. Um, talking about like this whole thing when they come back and all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, that's the update basically. Oh, also I wanted to show you guys like how cute is this? I bought this today from Tapo. Look at how cute is this 2024 diary. It's covered. It's like pink and then it has like all of these like little sunflowers it is so pretty i bought this for college this year so it's quite nice it has like big pages and it has like time slots um and then it has at the start of every month it has like a calendar which i thought would be very helpful for my college timetable and things like that um so yeah, um so yeah, I don't know what college is gonna be like either this year. Um my college relocated to Amschlange. Um they were currently well they were in Berea Morningside area which was quite close to me, it was like probably like half an hour away from me. And now they're moving all the way to Mschlange, which is like an hour, an hour away, which is very terrible. And there's going to be traffic and roadworks and yeah, so I'm not looking forward to that. I'm actually really stressing out about the last two years of my degree. I'm really worried, but there's nothing I can really do. I just have to continue with it but i know at the end of this degree i'll have my qualifications behind me and that's all that matters so so yeah but anyway that's it guys for the final and last update i am so super happy that i managed to experience this market and i'm so happy that i got to share it with you guys you have no idea how long i've waited for this day for me to actually have a market it's been so long it's been more than two years um that i've been trying to build up stock but anyway thank you guys for watching um yeah please like comment and subscribe and i have noticed by my analytics that there's a huge number of you that are not subscribed yet and there's a yeah there's a huge percentage of you that that watch my videos that aren't subscribed so please do me a huge big favor and please subscribe to my channel it really really helps out my channel even if you just like comment subscribe and share my channel it really really helps out my channel and i really really would appreciate the support 
um i really really would this this has been my dream from the time i started crocheting is to have my own crochet shop and my own youtube channel and um you know and each and every day that goes past i'm slowly building building up on that dream i still have my website that i'm currently building I haven't really done much on it because of college and everything and I've, I've just been so drained so mentally and physically drained from college that's why I haven't done much tutorials or videos um this past month or two months because yeah well month because I finished at the end of November um but yeah I'm just going to take things slowly because I don't want to burn myself out like before I start college um so yeah um I really appreciate everyone's understanding and the empathy and sympathy and all of that I really do appreciate your time and I really appreciate the time that you take in watching my videos and engaging in my videos I really really do appreciate that so as I said please like comment subscribe and share it really helps and also the ones the ones who aren't subscribed and keep watching my videos subscribe subscribe you will not you will not regret it i'm telling you okay that's it for me guys this time I'm telling you <laughs> thank you guys for watching and happy crochet guys bye